Sorry, sorry, sorry. This thing is not much. Sorry. Oh my. Ginger did not even stop to say sorry. You mean you don't know him? He stands down the street. I don't care who he is. <coughs> now one hour got boy, they called him Osi Onyego. The little money he picked entered his head and he does not have any regard for any human being. Don't worry about his coming back to say sorry to you. He will even do more than that. He must be an idiot for doing that. Sorry, um, let's go though. Don't mind him. Sorry. Sorry. I did the nonsense. Sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Outside waiting for you for so long. Why? Why? Odogu, I, I, I heard the horn king. I, I was inside the toilet. I heard the horn. Papa, Papa. I said, mm, it's not Odogu. Mana, I asked, I, I used laxative. So the thing was turning my, my tummy. I, I tried to hold it, but I could not hold it again. And then I rushed out because I'm sorry. You say, would you shut up? Shut up. Yes. Why are you giving excuses? Huh? Just shut up. Look, giving excuses will deny you of the beautiful life that you're having. You should be at your duty post at all times. That's why you're paid at the end of the month. Okay? If you can no longer deliver, your employer will have no other option than to sack you. Hey, no, no, Biko, don't, 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 don't sack me. Biko, Biko, don't sack me. You should be sorry for yourself and not me. Did you hear me? You should be sorry for yourself. I have made it. Diligence made me who I am today. That is true. You can't keep giving excuses. No wonder at your age you're still like this. Look at the kind of job you're doing. That means you cannot achieve anything in life. Oh. Thank you, sir. I don't blame you. One morning I'll just wake up and terminate your appointment. Is there trouble all outside? Mm -hmm. boy talks to me I don't blame you I don't blame you wake up one morning fuck me get out I'm useless all because I have rummy stomach cause it is rumble hey! Oh, well, stressful. How was yours? Pretty much. <laughs> Where's my boy? He's sleeping. Sleeping? Ah, by this time. He was crying when I went to pick him, pick him up from school. And when I asked him, he said his teacher flogged him. Huh? Yeah, and because of the too much cry, he had headaches. So I have to put him up to feel better. So he's sleeping. And which teacher had the audacity to flog my son? What, what did you do? Did you confront that teacher? 
And why would I do that? And why wouldn't you do that? How can a teacher flog the son of Oo Sionye Goma? Why? person crazy. Why? Honey, so they can't flog your child again in school. Nobody has the right to flog my child. It shouldn't happen. It should never, <laughs> ever happen. Honey, even Dangote's children, they went to school and they were flogged by that teacher. Oh, what nonsense. Get this, Malo. Eh? It's so Dangote's children went to school. Get this, Malo. Even if they flog Dangote's children, those are the young Dangote. Eh? It's Dangote. I am Osi Onye Go. Nobody touches my child. It doesn't happen. It should never, ever happen anywhere. If I don't worry. By this time tomorrow, that teacher will be jobless. Okay. I'll make sure they chase her, him or her out of that school. If I don't achieve that, then I shut down the school. Nobody has the right to touch my child. Hey, hey, honey, please hold on, okay? I mean, how else can they discipline a child if not by flogging them once in a while? What are you talking about? Nobody has the right to touch my child. <laughs> no. if, if, if they have a problem with the child, they should let me know how much here in the school. Nobody does that. Honey, please hold on, okay? So they don't have the right to discipline your child again in school. Nobody has any right to do that. Uh, please, let me go fix your dinner, okay? I know you're very hungry. I don't need your food. Don't give me food. If anybody discipline my child, I will discipline my Sorry, God, please. Uh, I want you to understand that... that uh, Jude, listen to me. Shouldn't be the one to understand you. But even the Guinness. Are you me? Okay. You're okay. here to learn from me. So you should be the one to understand me. Is that clear? That's his number, I don't understand you. Your mother brought you here because she is my aunt. My mother's younger sister. She wants me to teach you everything I know in business so you can grow, right? Good. And you believe that by being here, you will learn a lot from me because I have made it. I am successful. Okay? Yes, sir. You're right. Then listen to me and understand me. Every successful man has a secret. You need to find that secret. If you find that secret, you'll be successful. And it's very simple. Diligence. Focus. Who now that? When I was serving my master, I never used to tell such stories. My God, Yauka. How can something, uh, you, how can you place something in my care? Near Willy. I don't know what happened. It got lost. How? How? Is that possible? It's not possible. That's exactly what you are doing. And it brings me back to what I'm saying. Diligence. It shows you are not committed to a baby. Amen. And because of that, because I was diligent, because I was committed, I was focused on what I came to do. Look at me today. In Afrobe, no. See where I am today. You know my level. You know my level. This house is my house. I built it, Jude. I have a shop in Main Market. I have goods worth over 20 million naira in my warehouse. I have over 30 million naira cash in my account. There is no young man of my age right now in our village, in our community, that can talk where I talk, that can stand before me or stand right in front of me and challenge me. It's not possible. Why? Because, hey, Jirego, I am the richest person, the richest young man in my village. When I speak, everywhere trembles on my level. And what are you go except me? I know, sir. Um, but sorry, sir. I hear that the uh, Eribe has. Picked money. I don't know, pick here, go. Julie, you are an idiot. You are a very big idiot. Now, what you are deviating? You want me to sanction you because of the iPad that you lost? Huh? Talking to you and you are deviating. By the way, who is Eriba Wab? Um, Eriba is uh, Mazudens' son. Oh, that one. Forget, forget that one. That one that is always following politicians. What if what passed that now? Does he have money because of the little magic he used to do? Forget him. He got that shit, that's good. Mm, sir, you, you know, they say that, that uh, these politicians, they, they normally have money. Jude, you want to learn from me? Yes. Listen, before you can make that kind of money as a politician, huh? the kind of money that will shake places anywhere you enter, you will either be a governor, a senator, House of Rep member, House of Assembly, or even a president. Not boy boy to any of them. It's not possible. Okay, sir. So just that that's what, what they have been saying. 
I don't care what people are saying. Just talking nonsense. People will always talk. Where was Eribe if he's uh, that successful? Where was Eribe when our, our, our village, our town people decided to make me the chief launcher of that uh, project, the building project, the civic center that they want to build? Eh? Kerebe Eribe no. Shows you that he doesn't have money. Eh? I am the most recognized young man of my age in our community. Why? Because age in Kochi Kochi. You understand me? I'm not any other person. Look around. You go to my village, look around. You can't find. It's just me. It's very simple. My kid, Jimmy. If <laughs> Listen to me, let me tell you, children. Money is like pregnancy. Huh? Each idea, you can't hide it. Maybe you can hide, you know, the process when you're trying to make money, which is the same thing with But the moment it enters and you become pregnant, it starts growing. No matter how much you try to hide it, it keeps growing. Same thing with money. Adei Budiaga. Ichideko. Everybody will know that you have money. Jude. Have you learned something today, Jude? Yes, sir. Same thank you, sir. And thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hi. Honey, we are ready. Let's be going before we miss the doctor's appointment. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Big boy, what do you say? Say bye. Bye. Be a good boy, yeah? Uh, honey, will you be going to the office today? Oh, my love, you forgot it. I told you I'll be going to the village. Today is the D day, day of the lunch. <laughs> So, will you be passing the night or...? No, no, no. I'll just spend a few hours and I'll come back. I want to go there and then make us see other place. Work. Let me show them why they call me O.C. And then I'll come back. All right, do you have a safe trip, okay? I love you guys. I love you too. This to my cousin. Aloy! Aloy! Come here! Come, 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 come this way, come this way, come this way. Who did this to my car? Huh? No, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? A car I parked in this compound and placed in your care, and this thing happened. I said, who did this to my car? Sir, I don't know. Maybe when you packed it, somebody must have scratched it when you were coming back home. I am innocent. I don't understand about this. I am innocent, sir. Aloy, be very careful. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. Be very careful in this compound. Yes, sir. Look very well. This is a 350. Can you see it? Yes. Lexus 350. It's not 300. It's not 330. It's not even the fake 350 Omar has in car. This is pure 350. You hear me? So you very, be very careful. Maybe you were washing this car and mistakenly you hit it with something. You know how much it cost me to get this car? Do you know? Huh? If I give you the money I spent in buying this car, it will feed your entire generation. I'm sorry, sir. Be careful. I greet you all. I greet you all. Um, I don't have to remind you all why we are here. It's very simple. Yes, it's very simple. We are here to commence the fundraising for um, the building projects 
in our village. Oh yeah? Yes. Yes. I get me a memory of ma. My ma. You people have nothing to worry about. Yes. Because Osi Onye go no no more. We will build it. And we will build it very well. Uh, it may take some time, maybe a year, two years, three yes. years. But believe me, it will be complete. And believe me, by the time we are done, it's going to be one of the best civic centers ever built in Africa. Um, they say that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. Yes. I understand that what we need for the project is about 50 million naira. 50 million naira? Oh, Belego. Oh, Belego. 50. Oh, Belego. I will donate the sum of uh, 4 million naira. So, uh, as time goes on, um, and then we're back, you know, I'll keep contributing and we'll make sure that we have our civic center well. <laughs> Exactly. So, I have two checks here for two million naira each. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, let me immediately <laughs> tell you that Akuro no Uebos True. Osionego has comfortably confirmed to all that it is still for Odorisa. Yeah. In fact, with Osionego, our vision is actually. Yes! Uh, Onyanko! Osionego! Mm -hmm. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me make you to understand that somebody very, very important enter this environment. And this very person is going to change the event. Okay. Yeah. I am talking about a particular son of the soil, one of us, one of our own. In fact, someone that has been confirmed according to this that is financially capable. Eliba Babu means that his money can never finish. And this same man who is one of our own is in this place. I am talking of the son of the soil. All the way from Abuja. He came here and he found out that we are doing something as it regards to building our city center. And he has come to show us that he will help us build this city center. Let us welcome anyone who will work in this our kingdom. Thank you. I greet you all. Ubiyan. I greet you. And of course, our union presidents, uh, both home and abroad, I greet you all as well. Um, I've been at the back and I listened well. Chief Launcher, you tried. You tried very well. But my people, I, I am one the kind of uh, civic center that um, 50 million naira will build for us. Because I am very sure that 50 million naira cannot even complete the roofing of a modern complex. Yeah. I am just coming from a building site in Abuja, one of my sites though, and I spent over 16 million naira hey! hey! roofing one of the projects. Hey! Only roofing? Just roofing it. This is 2018. Things have changed. See, I want us to build for ourselves. A befitting civic center. Which, I mean, one that I can be obliged to invite my friends and colleagues. Please, I want to know, uh, with all due respect, who is the chairman of the building committee? Look at him here. Look at him here. Okay. Oh. 
Very good. I'm going to send you a plan of a befitting civic center that will cost us 450 million. Don't worry. I am going to transfer 200 million naira to the building account so that work can start instantly. I'm going to personally build us a befitting civic center. Personally. Thank you. Ah. Thank you. Fine, sir. No problem. Here, wonders will never end. Hey, too, what's going on? I want you to come with your friend. Okay? Yes. Your friend, you and your friend will meet with my boss. A minute with my boss will change a whole lot in the life of the both of you. Trust me. Wow. <laughs> well, um, I hope uh, this your friend will fill our pockets like. You know what I mean? Who's talking about a friend? Now let me hit you. The person I'm talking about is known as Eriba Gwagu Nkizizi. Ojega Piamado Tani. Have you been beaten with money before? Like, have they flogged you with money? Uh, you will not understand. Serious? So, 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 um, so when are we going to meet this your boss? Well, calm down. Mm -hmm. I'll work it out. Right. I'll give you a call. And then I'll tell you where you and your friend will meet me up with. Okay. You see, my boss like things like this. <laughs> Something that look very plump. Really? And must have... <laughs> you understand? Please. Deal. It's okay. Uh... Okay. But let me tell you something. The most interesting part of this whole thing is my percentage. I don't joke with it. 10% of every deal I give to you girls. Are you in or not? Um, okay, no problem. <laughs> I'm in. Good. Yeah. All right. Then you receive my call. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the look on the chief launcher's face. Iluad Mancha. He wasn't happy. <laughs> you know that I intentionally went to that launch to intimidate that guy. And you did. Honestly, you did. You know, Agu, eh? we're age mates. We attended the same school. The bagger was fortunate enough for his mother to send him, you know, it was fortunate his mother sent him to Nigeria to serve one businessman as an apprentice. Of course, he served them well. The man settled him well. After his settlement, he began to do well. See. But you know something? The wealth got into his head. That is and he began to feel like one, one god in our village. 
You are correct. You and are of right. course, guess guess what? In the land of the blind, a man with one eye is always the king. You know, it got to a point he actually believed that he became successful out of his diligence and hard work. So as to him, eh, for those of us in the village, we are all lazy, lazy things on serious, unorganized people. Ndinamambul. So I yeah. But little did he know that I was walking on the ground. And guess what? I am ready for him now. I attended that luncheon to make him to understand that yes, we are mates, so, but our monies, our monies are not mates. Ego ne wombo, no bo, ego ne wombo tolobo. Ego gito no go. Chum can call ya for real that his money. But they go plenties. They go sales boys. Makana you want, they go on your bun, they go mbute, that is ye ki ke. You got a go go, how about that one? Let him wait. By the time I finish my mansion and the village, one now there is a call on us at Bisa. And what a network there. Mbano. All the man I watch your kikita, so now she found a boss of kikita on the city. Gapiawiazu. <laughs> Baby, 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 you know, as I was parking at the garage, mm. I saw your car and your oddlies. I said to myself, Ojega Piotali, Eliba Wagu Kizzi must be here. Let me step in. No, Dana, no, Dana. Eliba Wagu. What else can we do? Money was meant. It's not more, it's no longer was made or is made. I need to make a new deal. So, Kali, 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 so Kali, be a nice nigga. Lily, I don't want one more. Eli, I 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 want I can just believe it. Babe, some guys are so rich. Again? <laughs> Babe, you have not seen anything yet. Really? You see money. Money is coming. Oh my God. Money is coming. <laughs> and um, babe, um, how much is the man going to give us? You know we are not passing the night with him. Babe, don't be in a haste. All right. You've not seen anything yet. You see money? Money is coming. Just wait and see. Oh, huh. this is hundred thousand naira, and I've taken twenty thousand naira out of that money, which is ten ten thousand each from your money, as agreed. And I hope that's cool with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we are happy. <laughs> we are okay with it. We're not complaining. And you? <gasps> nice doing business with you. Mm. <laughs> well. We'll take our leave now. Well, not too fast. The man that just walked in now, his name is Afunwa. And he has demanded to be with the both of you tonight. That is another great deal. 
That is another great news. <laughs> but don't forget my percentage tomorrow morning. I don't joke with it at all. Understood? Yeah. No shaking. Good. Come with me. Baby. Billy Babu. How? How? I mean, how? From where? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Don't pass it. From where? Oh, I mean, what is it? Who are you talking to? Never mind, just go back to sleep. How can you tell me? Never mind. You know I know you too well, and you can't hide anything from me. Baby. What is it? Talk to me. What happened? I am your wife. Very first time I was humiliated. Today. What is it? Hi. You know uh Elibe? I have told you about him before, my old time friend. Yeah. He just told everybody in my community, my village today, that I'm a poor man. Believe me. Believe me. That I do not have money. And there are people who have money, raw cash, and are not even anywhere close to the list. Why would he say that? Anybody pledged 200 million naira. Believe me, for that building project I told you about. 200 million. And right before me, he transferred the money into the project account. 200 million naira. Before leaving for Abuja. Right before me. You mean that guy has that kind of money? My love, everything I have, everything I am worth, my cars, my house, my goods in the warehouse, my account balance, everything put together. It's not up to 200 million now. That's what this boy just did. One transfer, 200 million. Sorry. See you very well, Bill. Thank God. I am happy. Hmm? At least this your head can calm down a little bit. People that have money, big money, they are not proud like you. If I do you That boy said he was going to do it. Finally, he has done it. Now that the secretary has read our last minute and has been adopted, what will be our next agenda we will present before the general in our first community? Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> you know, Mr. President, I, this is my own suggestion, my own opinion. If you ask me, I think it would be nice for us to organize a carnival this coming Christmas. Yes. A carnival where we will invite top Nollywood actors, musicians from all over the country, to come and entertain us. Other youth from in other communities, they used to do it every, you know, or anytime you get to this period. And it's usually very, very, very lively. In my purpose, do you think the general will like this idea? Everybody likes good things. 
Everybody will enjoy their self. Well, you want to know how to I'm sure the majority will vote for it. I'm very sure of that one. What do you like? My treasurer, what do you have to say about this? <clears throat> Alright. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. You're welcome. Um, I, I must say that I am disappointed. Honestly. I'm ashamed. Believe me, I'm really ashamed. I, I never expected um, such uh, utterances to come from my friend here. Um, I thought you people called me here for a productive meeting. I came down here, left everything I was doing. Not here, my good friend, Eribani Will. Hmm? I mean, how can you be talking about hosting a Christmas carnival? I mean, at this, at this time, this time, or Chichimoka and Okita. Take a look around you. Look around our community. Our young men and young women, our youths, they are not doing well. You won't see anyone building any good house. You won't see any one of them driving good cars. And it's very simple. It's because of this kind of mentality. Huh? Instead of uh, young men to be thinking about how to make money, you know, how to improve their lives, you're talking about Christmas carnival. Get the biggest, you know, they be. Yeah, 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 what, what, what is your problem? What, can you even some more, What is wrong with us having a Christmas carnival where our youth will have the opportunity to come together to interact? Can you, what is there? Get to know each other. What is your problem? Is it because of this little money that you just went in on the chat the other day? Eh? Or is it the little house, the monkey house that you're building? Or you want to go? What are you doing? I go. 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 I I understand um, how you feel, which is exactly why you're ranting. Poor people will always rant. It's normal. Um, rich people like us, we don't exchange words with poor people like you. But I'll still tell you the problem, problem I have with your suggestion of uh, having a Christmas carnival. Hmm? Christmas carnival. Bad thing is, you still come to me to ask me for money which you are going to spend to do Christmas carnival. You don't have a carnival. You don't have a carnival. You are a poor man. You are a poor man. Let me ask you a simple question. Oh, see, all the people that buy up all you wealth fly in private jets, live in exotic houses. Do they have two heads? Because of my poor age pattern on each other, trading just yesterday. You're making mouth. I go, I've told you, but I'll go more because me go square with my two. Me go square my two. If you don't honestly, President, me. Look at you. Look at you. You will go. You will go. I'm not going to 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 go. Who do you think you are? You won't go. My name is Lucy. You won't go. How would you want to go? It's okay. I understand, like I said, why you are ranting. Uh, you're my good friend. We're also from the same community. If not for that, believe me, at the snap of my finger, I'll arrest you. Enough. And I can keep you in prison for the next 35 I years. I swear to God. Like a oh, no. you. Come out. Man, was the future? Hey! Say enough of this, please. This is not the Portuguese parliament. How can the both of you come to this executive meeting and get into the court? I will make it ready. Allow me to talk to this man. I've had enough of this man. He has not too much. So I, the person who talk and nothing will listen to me? Reza, I'll take you on for now. But you are poor now. Hey! We we're, we're tell you every day. You don't have money. That's the problem. You push your own Christmas carnival. You're still going to come to me to ask me for money. Can you hear your money? Can you hear your money? Can you hear your money? Can you hear So what's what? Can you hear your money? Huh? When people, rich people like us, you are talking, they are nonsense, so you will learn. If you don't want to learn, I will shut up. It's hey! Okay. 
I am seeking my element and you was in talking with us. Presido, with all due respect, Kamna, whatever you decide on this table, you always know that I will be in support. What do you go? So there's nothing to I will prove to you that Nego Kawodego buy and sell. I might call what again. And will you go here? Whatever you have decided to do, I'm involved. But for me to sit down with this man, this poor man, Kamna. So this is it, eh? No, no, what's the camera? Oh, Genny. What is it again? Baby, please, eat your breakfast. Anybody said he was going to do it. And he has done it. All right, see me. You could win, hmm? Come out and look at It's me now. Who's your nigga? I know. I can't just lie low now. Huh? The die is cast. Anybody? The die is cast. We better be gonna move. So one boutique in Kanye. I cannot do any illegal business. So 419 or internet fraud is out of the picture. I will join politics full time, yes, while my business is still running. I will join politics with every strength in me. My major target will be a major contract from the government. One contract must come, yes. Eribe cannot just come and make a mess of me in my community. No. I remain OC Onyego. As it Where did Eribe make that kind of money from? In such a short space of time? That's my question. Where? OC. There is something we call Ego Mbute. You can also call it Ibutinke. This kind of money, you don't make it through buying and selling. No, 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 no. This money carries anointing. By the click of a button, bam, money everywhere. That is the kind of money Eribe made. <laughs> so, where do people make that kind of money from? Where? That's what I'm asking. Where? Ah, are you a learner? From politics, internet fraud, 419, contract from government. <laughs> Where exactly did Eribe make his own from? Where? From government contract, of course. I heard that the FCT caretaker gave him a contract to supply diesel for the period of three years to all the power plants to power stick lights in Abuja. And that cost about one million dollars. Huh? So these politicians that everybody has been following, that strategy finally paid off, eh? Yes, sir. He paid up for him. See, in this life, my brother, consistency in whatever you do is very important. Very important. I see my problem. The woman of this house that I already fixed the date. Yes, sir. So what is holding this house from being completed? Sir. No, no, wait. Do you want me to drop you and fix under contractor to finish up this no, building for me? It doesn't go into that, sir. You know, this time around, rain disturb. 
But believe me this time, if you come back here in the next one in the next one week, everything will be changed. Believe me. Can you tell me why are these balconies so small like this? That, that is how it is in the plan. No. I want you to expand them. That is the that's where I'm going to be seated with my friends. Consider it done, sir. There's no problem on that. I'll do it as said. Now let me see the, the, the room you, you're talking about. Okay. Goma, I can't believe you are your this. Hmm? Opportunity that other girls are looking for. She be excited in hearing this. Agazi. So this is what you do for Eriba. That's what you do for Eribe. You supply girls to him. Look at you talking. What is wrong with a man getting to meet with you? Won't you get married tomorrow? And the man we're talking about is not just an ordinary man. He's a man that has money. Come on. How sure are you he wants to marry me? Or he just wants to have a taste of me? Tell me how would you know? When you get to meet with him first, then you listen to him and know where he's coming from. Hey, if there is any doubt or something you need to ask him, then you ask him. Eh? That's just it. Okay. You you said his home, right? As I'm talking to you now, okay. he's at this building site waiting for us. Um, okay, let me let me go and um, change up. Um, 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 you don't need to do that, eh? You're looking good. <laughs> you You're just fine. If you go and change now, you spoil it. Just come. Hmm? Let's go. You know, Okui, when you have money and all you do is talk against your people, if you watch such people, if you look at them very well, they don't have shishi. Uh -huh. No, they don't. No one has money, nobody, no rich man has time to talk against his people. No rich man has time to gossip. But guess what? I have come to teach them, teach some people how to be rich. Uh, Eribe, I'm sorry for cutting you short. I don't know where you are going to. Can you please buttress? Okay, you cannot understand. Don't bother. I am going to do something that will shock the entire community. I'm a call here. But I'm going to establish 10 industrious sons of this community with 2 million naira. I'm a call here. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's okay. Okay, you know what I called you here? You know you have been the youth president now for a long time. <laughs> yes. And I must confess you have been doing very good. This is God's grace. <laughs> I want you to give me 10 names of industrious sons of this community that you believe that if given money will use it well and establish themselves. Okay. I want you to attach their bank details to their names. I'm going to personally transfer two two million naira each into the accounts Amakoya. for them to start something. Amakoya. Amakoya. Finally, a savior has risen in our community. A savior has risen in our community. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. This is what we want. This is what we want. I want you to monitor them I personally. Will. I will. And make sure that the returns, not for me, okay. for their own progress. I will. Hmm? I will. I learned that um, you're doing business in Anja. <laughs> I sell this pants and bra on this. <laughs> Don't so money, but yeah. yeah. Business with business. Yeah. Anything that brings money is business. Yes. I want you to also attach your name and your bank details. I will also making, 11. making 11 of you now. I will personally transfer 2 million into your account to join into your business. Me? 2 million? Hey! I'm a call, yeah? 
I'm, uh, see, see, I'm not safe for the in my life. Now you want to give me two million? Hey, this happiness will bring out tears in my eyes. Don't mind my tears, it is happiness. I'm a Koya. I'm a Koya for that year. So that's what in our community. God will bless you. God will bless you for us. Hey, hey how's it going? Shut up. Stop. I will get up. I will get up. I will get up. I want you to include 50 names of our widows, if they're up to 50. Uh -huh. I want to give every widow one one million naira. Hey! To support whatever they are doing. This evening, I will bring their names for you. Both the widows and the youth. In just first ones, I will bring them for you this evening. I'm a Korea. The gods are alone continue to bless you. The gods of this land continue to bless you. Amen. This is what we are talking about. This is what no to 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 finally a savior has risen in our community. <laughs> it is not you talk 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 blah blah blah. Money is talking. Ego real money. Real money is speaking. Hey, go hey hey. I'm going to spread the news. I'm spread the news. And I'm going to spread the news. What will happen is, eh? Um, just wait for me here. Let me tell him that you're here. Okay? Are, you, uh, are you sure he's around? This one, we didn't see any of his cars outside. Hey, hey, don't worry. He, probably he must have sent someone and they ran with it. Okay. I Hello, the boss. Uh, we're here. Yes. Everybody said you just that you drove out. Eh? Abuja. Huh. So, so boss, what do I do now? Okay, I should come with her. Ah, okay. okay, okay, sir. But, okay, you book a flight for us. It's okay, I, I will do, I will do just that. I will do just that. Elibe in Kizizi. I'm a mime mulia. I will tell her. Okay, by weekend. Consider it done. Nanya de chago tineja. Elibe in Kizizi. Ekene, choi. All right, sir. Bye, sir. I've been waiting for you. You kept me waiting here for me. Um, Goma. Yes. Um, there is a little problem, but not too. It's not out of hand. Eh? I was just told now that he's gone back to Abuja. You see, we wasted wasted a lot of time. You see, I, that, 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 that's why I don't like this kind of thing. Eh? You've just wasted my precious time like that. Uh, yeah, not to worry. Eh? That's another plan. I spoke to him on the phone and then he told me to come with you to Abuja. Abuja? <laughs> you see, you're happy now. We're going to Abuja. Sure. Now, this is what you're going to do now. Hmm? You'll be going home now. Go and pack your things. Pick some good clothes or good clothes. You know, get prepared. By weekend, we're flying to Abuja. Flying? He said I should bring you. With the aeroplane? Of course. Hey! Are, are, are we going on road? Yeah, we're going on flights. Okay, let me go and start packing my things. <laughs> Two million naira each. Yes, so I was dumbfounded. <laughs> anyway, I'm still comparing their names. <laughs> yeah. Still is no longer a joke. At all, my brother. Two million naira. <laughs> it's not a joke. 
In fact, everybody does not know what else to do with money. Just sharing money to me. Ego. Hey! And he said he wants to teach us what it means to be rich. Yeah, for that, I, I knew he was referring to you. <laughs> you know, any bit that I know we have beef against you right from time. But I never did anything wrong to anybody. Now. Mm -hmm. huh? All I wanted to do was to ginger our boys, you know, to, to start doing well like youths from other communities. That's all. And you have succeeded in doing that by pushing him into wealth. For that, congratulations. <laughs> you did well. <laughs> And you said he wants to sponsor some of our youths. Bam. What you never thought of doing, Eribe is doing it. Hey! <laughs> He's a great man, though. <laughs> what did you just say? You heard me right, my brother. Try. The Bible said it, though. The first shall be the last, and the last shall be the first. Oh, see, you used to be the richest and the most respected. Nezian, people are now talking to you anyhow. Another giant has risen. You are now old school, Osi Onyego. I refuse to be old school. If I was able to make the kind of money I have now out of nothing, why wouldn't I make even much more than what Eribe thinks he has now? Why? Eh? No, Jose Oñego, no retreat, no surrender. Move, like a thunderbolt, remember says, never you get this in life, oh. This life, oh. Never as you think of. Ah, contractor, how are you? Good, 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 no problem. See, I want you to see me immediately. Yes, I want to resume work on that, my village house. Osibono, what? Yes, I want you to give me the breakdown. Tell me what we, uh, we need to buy right away so that work can, uh, can start. I'll send the money to you if you don't lose one. Osi, please, I don't think I have this time now. What are you talking about? Won't you complete the job you started? There is more pressure on me. Everybody needs this house to complete in the next one month. As you can see, me and my boys are working day and night to hit the target. Please, Osi, you have to hold on for now. Wait for who? Huh? Wait for who? Who are you? Get on you, but I'll wait for you. Who are you, my friend? Shut up there. You lie. Do you hear me, contractor? I say you lie. If you don't want to complete the job, I will get another contractor, pay him very well, right in front of you. You will finish that job. Is it not better for you? Is it there the build house? One year, one block. Oh, see, in fact, I'm tired of that job. I don't think I can do it anymore. Be a monkey, listen to me. I come up. Hello? Get out. Get rubbish. I beg, fix that, put that block very well. Me? Who's your nigga? I'm calling my, my, my building one year, one block. Oh, because of Eribe. Me. Who's your Diego? Who's your Diego? Aha, contractor. I want you to write out everything that is required for that my village house to be completed within one month. Huh? One month. Everything. Are you with me? Yes, yes. Uh, my, my plan is this. The moment we start, work will not stop there until the house is completed. Okay. Um, I'm, I've seen the plan. Um, I will have to see the the building. Okay. You have to take me to the site. So let me know exactly where the work stopped. Good. Alright, that will not be a problem. We would have gone there now, but I have a very important meeting to attend. So tomorrow morning, you come, I'll take you there. Okay? Right. And if it's possible, I want work to commence immediately. Once we get there, you will be moving with your boys and start work. Okay, it's very, very possible for work to resume tomorrow. Once you give us money, I expect him to do us. Alright, that will not be a problem. Let me drop you off, eh? Uh, before I forget, here, your check. My check. 
Yes. Uh -uh. This, this is my donation for the building project. You're right. Why are you giving it to me? Go and cash the money. And give them, give it to them. I'm sorry. Everybody has changed his mind. He said that uh, he does not want anybody to contribute a kubo one nera to this project. I want to do it alone, single-handedly. What kind of insult is that? I made my donation before he arrived. I mean, I was the chief launcher of the, the event. This is something I did because I, I want to contribute to the uh, civic center that is being built in my community. Now, what's he talking about? Oh, see, nobody's arguing these things with you. Eribe has changed everything. He said he does not want any help from anybody. He want to do it alone. This is the standing order and the last order. Eh? Bikonu, just take it. That boy is practically looking for my job. Believe me. He is stepping on my toes. We are going to have serious issues in this. Tell him. Baby, please calm down, okay? If he wants you to go get your money back, it's fine. Huh? There is a lot of things we need to do with money. I mean, you can even put it in the village projects. What are you talking about? Huh? I mean, how can he insult me in that manner? Why will he send someone to return my check? On your cup? Because he wants to take the glory alone. And why? Why? I was made the chief launcher of that project. I mean, I made my donation before he even walked into that place. So what is he doing? Honey, his pledge was yours. Yes, that guy has made a lot of money. Please, go and take your money and chill. Hey, Mata Mata, if you want to do something for your people, you can build a, a cathedral. Single-handedly, that one too is good. Just listen to yourself, man. We're going to alone, okay? You think I have that kind of money? From where now? Uh -huh. See you. Hmm? That guy has made a lot of money. And he just wants to intimidate you. In fact, he's doing that. Just see how you walked up. Baby, please just calm down, okay? There are a lot of things you can do for your people. Okay? Please. Hmm? Honey. To complete that project of mine costs a lot of money. Um. If you go by the roof, that's the kind of roof you said you want, and the floor compound with the interior decorations, we'll be looking at uh, 30 million naira. 30 million? Are you sure 30 million will handle it? Because the kind of roof I want to put in that house will cost about 6 million. And then the, the floor of the compound will cost about 2.8 million. Yeah, 30 million will suffix it. I have everything written out there. What will be left to be too minimal? Mm. All right, no problem. So, um, I'll send you some money right now, about two million there, so you can get rods and cement. Uh, work can start. Huh? Later I'll send you more. Hope that is okay. All right. Send me your account number. Okay. Huh? We'll see. We'll see. Oh, see, are you sure you are doing the right thing? Eh? Using all the money you have to finish up your house. No. The way I was doing it one step at a time is better for me. That way, it does not affect my account balance at all. It doesn't affect my business. Hey, but people are now laughing at me. Calling my house one year one block. No, I have to finish that house in the next one month. At least to regain my respect. I must show them that I still remain Hosi Oniego. Boss, I've sent it. My plan is to finish building that house within one month. 
Eh? One month and done. Are you serious? Yeah, I really have been a match, but one month. Hey! hey. My God is good. Yes, sir. My God is good. Yes, sir. All my mockers and all my enemies will be put to shame. Yes. My son, I've not told you what has been going on in this village. Mm. What? You know that young man, Eribe? Since that man got money, people in this village, including old women like me, started talking like children, gossiping up and down. About who? Who else? You. They said uh, uh, you think you are the only person that uh, uh, has money, that uh, God has given them a very rich man. As if you are competing with anybody. I don't mind them. But the one that is annoying me at most is them mocking your building. They said your building is one year one block. That thing is giving me sleepless night. Like I said before, Mama, don't mind them. Huh? No matter what you do in life, people will always talk. That's their business. Thank you for the I, I, I called the man like you directed me to and uh, I sent him those quotations. He said he's going to send down the items once he receives any alert from us. Has he sent his account details? Yes, he did, and I forwarded it to you at once. Uh, yes. All right, I'll check it. Uh, I would like you to pay at once so that it doesn't stop the work. Uh, Sorry. Well, I know they have. That building is more important to me than you. Okay. Send it. Okay. I. I've been needing like a seven hundred thousand naira. Huh? Yes. You know my boys now, they now work day and night. Uh, they, their daily pay has, has increased. And we we'll make use of that lister. We we'll buy diesel every night. We we'll spend like 20,000 naira on diesel every night. Uh, yes. Uh, fine. <clears throat> I'll send the money. Okay. But make sure you keep account of everything we're spending. Huh? Document it very well. But when we are done, I'll sit down with you and I'll go through it. You can trust me on that. My guest has come and asked you that uh, half moon product have arrived. Half moon product? Yeah. Uh, we are still expecting it. Like when? When are you guys expecting it? The weekend. This weekend. My weekend. When? Friday or Saturday? Friday. Okay. Saturday to be precise, Saturday. Saturday? Yes. That means I should come back on Saturday? Yes, come back Saturday. Thank you very much. How do you expect me to tell him? Eh? You know I'm still new here. Eh? Why not the accountant? Let the accountant tell him herself. Because I be the one to tell him. Jude, Oka is supposed to know from the company's account that the goods are finished. Uh, most especially, the half moon products. Now, nah, eh, that half moon is a hot cake. Wow. People wow. have been coming. Eh? Mm. I'm telling you. See how people used to rush that, that, that half moon. Now it's finished. I, I suspect that people are going uh, uh, to somewhere else to get the, the, the product. Oh, oh. You have to try and tell Oga. You have to try. He's your cousin. I said he's your cousin. Why are you people being paid? The accountant. Why, why, why is Oga paying, paying her? Even you, you, you and, and the, the other sales girls. Please, you should tell him. Tell him. But Jude, you are closer to him. Uh huh. Close range. I'm closer to him. I will try. Go, 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 guys. Yeah, lah. Yeah. Enter inside. Get it for custom. Please, uh, get me water.
Um, okay, sorry, did the accountant or the head of the sales gear call you? Nobody called me. <clears throat> Sir, um, sorry. Uh, they told me to meet you. But I told them that it's better they tell you themselves that I'm still new in the business. Tell me what happened. Oga, most of our items are finished. And customers are complaining. They say they have been expecting new ones. But none is forthcoming. Oga, you know you're not used to you are not used to be in the shop. You're always in your office. Our shop, our warehouses, they are not encouraging at all. Which of the products in particular? Okay, not one, no. not one. There is this uh, popular half moon. That one is finished. Half moon product finished. Yeah. So what have they been selling since? Why did anybody tell me? Sir, they said yeah, they don't normally used to tell you that you you get the alert or you, you notice from the account. Once it finishes, you make another order. So I don't know. Maybe you've not checked the account lately. It's okay. Can go. Yes, now, Xavier, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's very simple. Send me the goods. I will pay. Yes. Ha. Believe me, I will pay to the last dollar. You know me. Xavier, stop talking like this. We have done business for a very long time, for over eight years. Have I ever deceived you? For once. Aha. So it's not a problem. I mean, if I'm having issues, you, you, your company should be in a position to, to you know, help me out of it. Please. Okay, okay, okay. All, all right, fine. Can we do it this way? Just listen to me. I have seven thousand dollars. Yes, I have that one right now. But I can make it up to ten thousand. Yes, I have seven thousand dollars right now. I can make it up to ten thousand dollars. Yes. Once I make it up, I'll send it to you. Just send the goods to me. I will sell, and in two weeks, I'll pay you back. But wait. Are you saying you can only send me goods worth ten thousand dollars? Exactly the, the amount of money I want to send. Oh now, come on, Xavier, you can't do this. You've trusted me for so many years. Why now? You can't do this to me. Send these goods, I will pay. It's... Uh, hello? Baby, what is that? Nothing. Baby, how can you say nothing? It's 12 midnight. Come, let's go and sleep. Leave me alone. If you want to sleep, go and sleep. Am I, am I a small boy? Huh? Am I a kid? Can't you say I'm doing business? When it's time for me to sleep, I'll sleep. Go and sleep, please. Okay. I'm sorry. Oga, good evening, sir. Uh, how are you? Hi, sir. Okay. Oga, um, everything has been completed, though. Everything. It's just remaining the electrical fittings. And you know that we did a uh, conduit wiring, so it won't, won't cost us anything. And uh, I want to just finish that work and hands off so that I will know that I, I kept to my words. I completed the, the project in one month. Contractor, that work will stop for now. Huh? That project, Nyakusigodu. For now, I have more important things to attend to. Okay, you are finished though. You have finished. You have done the roofing, the painting, plumbing work, the floor, everything. This thing I'm, I'm talking about now would cost you up to one million naira. You boy, an idiot. You have one million naira to give to me. Huh? Do you have one million naira to give to me? Is it your house? 
I just told you in plain words, when I need you, I will call you. I have important things to handle. Stop the work for now. Okay, sir. What about this money? Sir, every cash we received was paid into the company's account. The tellers are all there, sir. Ah. Yes, sir. Are you sure? No, it's not, sir. Uh -huh. Benson is owing us money. Why haven't you people collected it? The money has been collected and paid into the company's account. The teller is also there, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Oh. Oh. So what you are saying is that what the figure we have here, this is all the money that has been generated from sales past one week. Yes, sir. This is so. Are you sure what you are saying? Do you know what I wouldn't have ego? No, sir. Nothing is missing, I'm sure. Yes, it's me, Osi. Onyeka, I need your help, Biko. I need a loan. Give me 8 million naira, please. Yes, I just discovered this product. It's hot in the market right now. I want to ship it in, Biko. 8 million naira, that's all I'm asking for. I understand. Problem is, I've already ordered for my goods. Yes. In about two weeks, my goods will be here. I had ordered already before the company called me and told me that the product is ready. Onyeka Biko, help me. You know me, I will pay. It's not a problem. Eight million naira only. Let me do business. It's hot cake. It will pay me. And then I pay you back your money. Uh, hey, now, I, I can even give you my car. I'll give you the papers of my car as collateral. Hold on to it. I'll pay. I promise. Huh? Just eight million. Huh? You don't have money. Hi. Are you sure you are telling me the truth, Oyeka? It's me, oh. No problem, it's okay, it's okay. I, I, I don't want to hear again, thank you. Why would you do such a thing? Man, you will not understand. I couldn't just sit down and fold my arms over my and I I couldn't. I, at the time, it was as if I was, I was being seen as a nobody in the village. It still doesn't make sense to me. Are you in a competition with anybody? Listen. Even if it took a thousand years for you to build that house, once it is completed. Nobody cares to know how long it took you. All they know is that you've built a house in the village. The way you were going about it was good. But now you want to impress people who don't even give a damn about you and how you make your money. No problem. So are you going to help me? Huh? Uh, lend me some money. Let me revive my business. Okay, I can even... 
take the papers of my card. I have it as collateral. I can give you keys to my house. Just lend me some money. Let me put in my business and revive it. Oh, see. You go. Without missing words, I must say that I am bitter. Yes. I mean, this is madness. How can someone be the architect of his downfall? Oh, money, this thing has happened. Stop blaming me. Let's find remedy. Solution. That's happened now. Well, just yesterday I transferred 15 million naira to my foreign partners. Uh, there is no way I, I don't have money for now. Huh? And I'm um, only hoping to get money once my goods arrive and I begin to sell. Her money. So you don't have any cash to give to me her money? Uh, at least I'm happy. But you're beginning to realize how monumental and perhaps disastrous your mistake was. I think the time has come for you to try your bankers. They should be of help. As for me, it's a dead end. Mm, I'm fine. Uh, boss, I wanted to tell you, do you know that Osi has finished his building? <laughs> Osi, now I won't lie to you. Your contractor told me that as soon as he heard that your building is at the finishing level, he called him to come and start up his own. But he told him that he cannot until he finishes his building. <laughs> But that's the truth. Do you know the ugly story? Because your contractor refused to come and finish, to come and start his own building, he fired your contractor. Went and get himself another contractor who finished the building in less than one month. But boss, there's one thing that I've been ringing through my mind all this time. Yes, if OC can finish his building in less than one month. Huh? Then go but they go quick boss all. Boss, I know that one. I know the opening house ceremony will be will be a talk of the town. Hey! But boss, Chelugodi, boss, Chelugodi. Eh? You're making my mind to beat. You said all the top musicians will come for your house opening ceremony. Boss, you said who? Olamide? Nyanke go science student. Hey! Mpiawazo, Madam Kamaiti. Hey! <laughs> and let me see now. Uh, let me see if he can contest this one. Uh, he has gone to finish the building. And then what happened to now? Let's see if he can contest this one. Mpa, Choi, I'm a member of Luka. I know you can do it. If he na pota mukita, we no oyibo data chukuni sineni go ibadata. Manen ko bo na ige mewia. You can do it. No problem, sir. Ah. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! Look, baby, I don't want to know what the problem is anymore. 
All I need you to do is to realize that anxiety and worry have never solved any problem before. Whatever the matter is, I want you to remember us, your wife and your son. We love you so much and we care about you. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Let no money issue take away the family bond we'll share. Okay, fine. Fine. I don't, I don't want to know whatever it is, but please, I beg you. I don't want you to have heart attack. I don't want anything to happen to you. I don't think I can handle it if anything happens to you. Don't hold it, please. Please. Okay? Don't think too much about it, okay? Just talk to God in prayer. He can handle all things. Please. Please. I've done much, 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 brother. Kill is in me, I didn't Dressed, to wear. So you're not aware that everybody is having his house one mean ceremony today. The president will be there. The governor of this state will be there. All the big, 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 big politicians you know, they will be in his compound. Hey, I'm not going to that. Is that the sound of the siren I've been hearing since morning? Wait, 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 every. Bah. So go and get dressed up now. Let's go. The whole village, as you see, everybody will be in this compound, they will be there. In that case, who say my son is supposed to be here? Because two of them are best of friends. And I am very sure that the next housewarming ceremony that will take place in this village will be his own. Why is it that he's not here? Will you go inside now and get dressed? Let's go. Or I leave you here with these plenty questions. Uh, uh, please, w wait. Let me go and get dressed. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't like good things? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'm coming. <laughs> got you, got you. Thank God I had enough meat drinks in my bag. Me too. I didn't even send anybody. I have enough rice, meat, and drinks in my own bag too. Uh -huh. And I was even there doing big gear. <laughs> Huh? Which big girl? Which big girl? No. Look at you. I collected enough rice, meat, drinks in my bag. Me too. Mm. Uh, yes. Maybe call those to eat, consume, and enough of what we want. Not for them to come and throw those things later. Hmm. Wait, oh. Let me go and bring my online lunch. The last place I was sitting down, the, the last food woman they brought, mm. there was nobody to eat it, though. I'm going to bring Lila so I'll pack those things. There is meat and no drink for me to go. I'm coming. No, stay there. Come back. I have gone to the house. I see you in your house. This is Osi's house. He started it four years ago. My sister, thank God we have seen light. He thinks he's the only one that can make money in this village. You better leave him. One year, one block today. One year, one block today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. No. 
I don't think all is well with my son. All is not well. Mama, see, you have started. You have started again. Maybe he has gone to somewhere that is important to him. We can be more important than this big occasion. His friend is doing his housewarming ceremony and he's not there. Huh? What can be more important than this? Um, Biko, how do you go? Help, help me dial his number, please. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to dial numbers from phone. Hey! How do you give me? The one I can dial is the one that is written on paper. So when I look at it, I dial it. I look at it and dial it. But the one stored inside the phone, mm -hmm. I can't dial it. Hey! Church, Abasa. Church, Abasa, Kwano. Good evening. Good evening, my son. Now, how are you and your family? Mama, we are fine. Who's that, Emma? Are you hiding anything from me? And why will I hide anything from you? Your friend officially opened his new house today. Everyone in this village was present except you. What happened? Well, he did not invite me. At my level, do you expect me to attend that occasion uninvited? Eh? You mean your friend Edibe did not tell you that he was having his uh, housewarming ceremony today? I'm Edibe Abro, my friend. Wait, so, uh, as the only two rich men in this village, two of you are the hopes of the community. I thought you are supposed to be best of friends. Well, unfortunately, we are very far from being best of friends. Did not invite me to his occasion. Anyway, don't worry yourself. Have you not finished your own house? You have finished it. Don't worry. Very soon you will do your own house opening. And uh, you will not invite him to. Don't worry yourself. Mama, I hope all is well. My son, I'm very, very fine. I'm okay. Uh, so, when are you coming home to do your own housewarming ceremony? Because they have finished painting the household, and the whole community is looking forward to see how your own ceremony will go. Uh, Mama, can I call you back? Eh? I have important things to attend to. I'll call you back later. I'm going to have a business with TPA. Guy, you missed a lot. You missed a lot. See, we, we, we see musicians everywhere. Musicians, money. There were spring dollars. I was flying in the air as if it's May paper. Child, this guy see money. Child. Good for him. Good for him. Why did you come? Why didn't I come? Yes. Are you drunk? You want me to come to an occasion that I wasn't invited? Huh? Anyway, Edibe never liked you. Don't need him to like you. It's because of your pride. It's because of your pride. Meaning? Meaning that you are too full of yourself. Thinking you are the only one that can make money. Now, Edibe has showed up with real money you are hiding your face. This face, keep hiding it too. Keep hiding it. Because boys are coming in our village. Youth are coming up. But you that have bones on their head, they are coming. Thank God you are now humble. It's humble to do that. You are not the only one that can make money. The real guys with money, they have shown up in the scene. Am I the one you are talking to? You heard me very well. You are the one I'm talking to. Me also. I'm talking to you. You now belong to the old school. 
old class. Is it one of the facts? Yeah. If I do you Jude, Jude, what is it? For the past three days now, you've been like this. What is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Am I the cause of all this? Or oh, what? I don't understand. See, when I entered here, I know how this shop was booming. Eh? Customers everywhere. But since I came in, everything went down. Eh? Am I a bad lord? Dude, please, stop thinking like that. Maybe Oga has made an order which has not landed. So cheer up, you are not the cause of any problem, okay? Are you sure? Very sure. Are you sure? Very sure. Stand up, let's make some cleanings. Eh? I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. Imagine, imagine Okui. Eh? Even you, Okui. Okui that I buy drinks and for before every evening. Okui that will run to me every now and then for financial assistance. And I'll always help him out. Huh? Now talks to me in this manner. Me. Osionyego. Osionyenko. Me. Hi. Atanamafo. Osionyego. Igano na mirinjabaga. Huh? You have to get up and do something about this. You can't just stay and watch these people insult you. Omande kwa mma usi. Omande kwa mma. Okay, Morgan. Uh, sorry, sir. Can I have a word with you, sir? I'm listening. <coughs> uh, um, sir. I, I don't like the way things are moving in the shop. I don't like the way your business is moving now. See, when, when I came in, your business was moving very fine. And I expect my coming in will make the, the, the business to move to the next level. It will be a taboo that I joined your business and it started going down. <clears throat> well, I'm not blaming you or anyone else for my misfortune. I know what happened to me. I know, I know what went wrong. Nobody's responsible. Hmm? Sir, I know you're not blaming me or anybody, but people will not understand it that way. So what do you want to do? I want to leave. Join her. No, sir, no way. What I'm saying is that let us find a solution to this problem. Eh? I think we should start the business the way I've been doing it. Is there anything else you want to say? No. Go and sleep. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. You cannot continue like this. Your business is diminishing at a very rapid rate. I advise you approach the banks for loans. My master warned me against uh, trading with bank loans. Come on, don't tell me that. What is wrong with that? Listen, most of those big businessmen and industrialists you hear their names in this country make use of bank money. You better sit up or watch your efforts of many years go down the drain. You cannot trade with bank money. I'm telling you, the fear of losing the money will kill me before I actually lose it. 
Tosi, you are not talking like a 21st century businessman. I won't deceive you. I am an old school trader, you know. Uh, don't expect me to render help when the chiefs are down. I will definitely dash your expectations. Better wake up. Hello. I've been looking at you. It's like we've met before. I can't just place where we met. Can you remind me? <laughs> yeah, you know, the moment I saw you down there, I, I said the same thing to myself, but I was quick to recall. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Please help your brother, remind me. We boarded the same flight last month to China. Ah, now I remember, now I remember. How are you? You're fine, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. You can have some meat. Okay? Oh, uh, later, later. I'll, I'll, I'll get some. All right. Um, do you live around the Benin area? Uh, no, I don't stay in Benin. Actually, I came in here to sort out something. Oh. Uh, yes, my goods were seized by custom officers. So they told me to come down here so we can discuss. But we, we didn't finish the discussions early, so I decided to spend the night in the hotel. It's okay. So, have they released the goods now? Not yet. We ran out of time while we were talking today, so they asked me to come back tomorrow morning. Okay. It's alright. Um, here is my card. Alright? <laughs> so, when you go tomorrow, if you're having any issues, just give me a call. Alright. Don't ever hesitate to call me when you have any problem. Okay? You see, <laughs> there are men that control this country. One of them you're seeing here. Anytime you have any issue, just call me. I'll help you. Thank you very much. Sir. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, I'm Popo. Popo. Yes. Okay. My name is Osi. Ah, it's nice meeting you. Osi Onyego. Uh, ah, Onyego. <laughs> that is money. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you like money. <laughs> it's okay.
Oh, si, oh, si. <laughs> Long time, sir. <laughs> so, what exactly do you want me to do for you? Want some money to continue with your importation business? Want to start all over again? Uh, no, not really, sir. I actually want something much more than that. Yes. Um, I remember clearly the day we flew together to China. Um, just before we boarded, we were seated at the airport lounge. And I remember clearly you were seated with uh, someone, maybe a friend of yours, and you guys were uh, discussing um, quite a serious and intimate discussion. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. That was my friend BCO. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I remember yes. clearly. Forgive me, I was actually eavesdropping. Uh -huh. I, I know it's wrong, but I was interested in what you people were talking about. Yes, you were telling him about uh, a certain uh, man who suddenly made a lot of money and was buying properties worth hundreds of millions, even billions. And then you, you said that that could only happen uh, because the man had come in contact with a certain person. Uh, that person uh, is, is the only person who could make such a thing work within a short space of time in this country. You remember, sir? You were indeed listening. Oh yes, I was, yeah. I was listening, sir. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I want. Please, connect me to that person. That's all I want. I want to make money hundreds of millions, even billions. See, I've been doing well in business, but I, I, I make just a few millions. I'm no longer comfortable with my level. I want to be bigger. I want to be like you, sir. I want to meet that person who can make things happen for me. I want money in hundreds of millions, billions. Can you do this for me, sir? Believe me, I will be grateful to you for the rest of my life. I can see the fire in you. <coughs> I'll help you. Huh? Yes, I'll help you. Uh, you see, I am a Kweme. You talk and do. Okay. If I promise, I fulfill. Okay. From the way I see you, I think you need my help. Oh, I, knew I really need your help, sir. Please just do, do this for me. I promise you, all the days of my life, I'll be loyal to you. Please. Don't worry. I'll help you. Ah. I, don't know much, I don't know how much I have been struggling to get this cut back. Thank you so much. Do this for me, I promise you. All the days of my life, I'll be grateful to you. I'll be loyal. Don't It's the same switch off. What is going on? Eh? How can it be switched off? Eh? God, please. God. No, what's happening? Eh? But he doesn't normally stay out late by this time. What is going on? Switch off this morning. God. God, God, what can I do? What can I do? What will I do? What will I do? What will I do?
Let it not be what I'm thinking. Please, let it not be. No, please don't allow me to be put to shame. Please. See, where are you? Eh? What is happening? Why are your phones off? Please, let it not be what I'm thinking. Please, God, let it not be. Did you hear anything? You mean you didn't see or hear from anyone that knows his whereabouts? Nobody. You mean he didn't come to the office today? He didn't show up. He did not. So where did he go now? Well, Alois, uh, Alois said uh, he overheard him making a call this morning when he was going out. That is, he will be traveling to Benin, but will come back today. <laughs> Benin? Yes, that's what he said. <laughs> My husband did not tell me about any Benin trip. And my husband that I know cannot travel, in fact, he cannot make any trip without letting me, his wife, know. See, uh, I think what you do is to calm down. Hmm? Let us just calm down. If we sleep this night, tomorrow we'll know where to start. Hmm? <laughs> Jesus you say sleep? I mean, you think I can actually go to the room? Lie down on the bed, close this my two eyes and sleep when my husband's whereabouts is unknown to me. Tell me, do you think I can do that? <laughs> I don't know you joke like this. See, Auntie, uh, just calm down. See, maybe something came up. Eh? Maybe his ba ba uh, battery went flat. Eh? What low battery are you talking about? My husband has a car charger, so his phones cannot be off. What are you talking about? What are you saying? <laughs> Taking him to the school. Good. Uh, which means for now, nobody's aware of this situation. Uh, I, I, have you called his mother? How? Eh? How can I tell her this? Eh? I can't. Eh? Uh, that reminds me. You say you have you heard Alessio's calling someone on the phone that he was going to be late. Yes, that's what he said. He said. Beautiful. That is where we're going to start from. That's that's where we start our search from. We will use the known to the unknown. So what do you want us to do now? Yeah. Huh? It's simple. We will go to the police station and make an entry that says in less for Benin who have not heard from him. Okay, mm. okay. It's good. Oh Lord, my father, oh God, you say those that put their trust in you, that you will never put them to shame. Lord, your daughter is here because your word is A and Amen. He said instead of your word not to happen, let heaven and earth pass away. God, he said in Psalm 1 to 1, that I will look up to the hill, that where will my help come from? He said my help will come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. God, please, I have come this hour to beg you, Lord Jesus. God, please, don't allow the plan of the enemy to prevail over us. God, please, don't allow the enemy to mock me. Don't allow the enemy to laugh at me, Lord. I don't have any other God beside you. God, my husband and I has never visited any deceived doctor. We have never sought any help from any other God beside you. You are all that will have my father. God, please come down from your infinite mercy and hear me. God, please, I can't do this alone, please. I don't know what is happening. I don't know where my husband is. But I believe in your word because this is the only thing that gives me hope. Because I know Whatever that you put in your key, that you will never forsake me, my father. God, please, I believe in this word. God, please, please hear me. Please, Lord, my father. I can't. 
God, please, my father, please, in the heaven, please come down. Ojiuko, I am very, very sure that all is not well with my son. All is not well. Why are you talking like this? Huh? Why do you always wish yourself evil? Why? This is not a matter of wishing myself evil. My son that I know very well can never stay this long without visiting me in this village. The only thing I have. He knows that I don't have any other person in this village, in this entire world, except him. He usually comes to see me in this village at least once in a week. Maybe something is happening to him. Hmm? He didn't come for his friend's housewarming ceremony. I called him and asked him why. He said he didn't invite him. Fine. So why hasn't he visited him since then? The person that just finished building his house. Would he pack into his house? Maybe he's taking his time. I've called his number severally. But they keep telling me that the number is off. Different people have tried the number with my phone and they keep saying, saying the same thing. Don't you are here telling me that all is well? All is not well. Then call his wife's number. That is the problem. I don't have her number. Yeah. I don't have her number. <laughs> Mm. I don't know what is going on with my son now. my friend. Don't, don't, don't just cry. Don't just cry. He will come. you to know that you didn't drop out of school because I hate you. Not at all. I love you, my son. And I sincerely do. All I want is the best for you. Your father died 
when you were still two years old. A lot of people advised me then to go back to my father's house so I can remarry. Some said that if I go with time, I will remarry, that I was still young. But I made your father a solemn promise while he was still on sick bed. I promised him that even if he dies, that I will still belong to him. I promised him that I am going to raise you up in his compound. I suffered hell in the hands of your uncles and kinsmen so they can inherit all these lands of your father. But God was with me. That was why I was able to have you here till this day. Mama, Nam. I know you love me so much. And I love you too, Mama. Mama, I owe you a lot. My, but I even owe you my life. No. You owe me nothing but only obedience and diligence. That's all. As you are about to go and serve as an apprentice in our nature, I don't want you to be carried away by friends whose fathers are still alive. I don't want you to be carried away by friends who have rich brothers, sisters, and uncles that can help them. Always remember that it is only you. It is only you and you alone with your poor mother. You have nobody except God in heaven. So please, I want you, my son, to serve your master faithfully. Learn that trade very well, so that at the end of the day, God will use you to bless me. God will use you to wipe my tears. God will use you to end the suffering I went through while raising you up. Please. Please. Yes, Mama. Mama, I promise you, I will not be carried away. Yeah, Mama, stop crying. I will not be carried away. I promise I will serve my master. I will serve him very well. Mama, I will make money for you. For you and for my future family, Mama. I promise you. Please stop crying. It's okay, my son. Osi, amongst the boys from your village, I mean, my maternal home. Do you know why I chose you to serve me in this business? No, sir. Good. It is because of your mother. Your mother is a hero. After the death of your father, your mother refused to remarry. She was young and beautiful. A lot of admirers were coming for a hand in marriage. But she refused to get married. Because she knew that once she gets married, you are going to have an identity problem. That is, she's going to take you to her new husband's place. No matter how they love you, 
but they will never accept you as one of them. Rather, your kinsman. I mean, your father's kinsman. We see that as an avenue to scramble over and lose father's property. Your mother has done so much for you. And I want you to be serious in this business. Do I make myself clear? Yes, I am. Okay. There's a lot of money in this business. Like I said before, I want you to be focused, be dedicated, committed, and be agile. So that by the time you are fully settled, it will be a better way to pay back for all the love your mother has labored for you over the years. That is what I want you to do. Always be a good boy. Is that okay by you? Yes, sir. At least I will do my best, sir. Good. Baby, why are you not in the room yet? <sighs> Baby, you're crying. I'm not crying. Baby, you are. I'm not crying. I'm fine. <sighs> Honey said you don't want to go back to what you suffered in their hands. Why are you still brooding all over it? It's gone. You're still crying when you're here with me, safe and sound. <sighs> or is there something you're not telling me? Something I should know? I've told you everything. There's nothing wrong. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you go to the room? I've missed you. You still haven't told me where we are going to now. Huh? We've been walking in this forest for God knows how long. The person we, we want to see, does he stay inside here? Don't you think you are asking too many questions? Sorry, sir. <coughs> yeah, that's him. Take it. Hey! That's who? Hey! Mbopo! Mbopo! Hey, so this is how I'm going to die. I truly, truly greed kills. I was doing well, oh. Yeah? I was making money. I was doing well in my business. What will I tell my maker when I meet him? Oh, my mother, oh, my mother will just die. Hi, what have I brought upon myself? Oh, God, God, please forgive me. 
accept my soul, take care of my family. Mpompo, Mpompo, it will never be well with you, ever. I didn't know you are a ritualist. Hi. Dikana. Mpompo, Mpompo, Dikana, Osiana. Hi. Hi. Whoever you people are, just kill me. Hear me, just kill me. I've suffered enough. Kill me, let me just die. Whatever you plan to give to me, I don't want to again. Just kill me, oh. Kill me, let me just die, please. Hey. I am Okunerere, the money lord you came to see. Okunerere? That is my name. So why am I being tied up here? Like a victim, what have I done? It is a picture of what is about to happen in your life. From this moment on, You will remain a slave to Okunerere. So shall money remain a slave to you. The way you are in bondage now is the same way you are going to be in bondage to me all the days of your life. And so shall money remain in bondage to you all the days of your life. Your first assignment before you will be inducted into Oku confraternity in the next 48 hours. From your exit from this place and your mother shall be the sacrificial lamb. Huh? My mother? Ha! Please don't go there. I beg you, just do not go there. If I knew this whole thing was about rituals, do you think I'll be here in the first place? I've been doing well in business. I, I, I don't need your, your, your money. Huh? I'm not, uh, not desperate. I've been doing well in business. Ah, no. I don't need your money. I've been doing very well. Besides, if I kill my mother, then who will enjoy the, the, the money you want to give to me? No. no. She will argue the next time she sees you. And in the night, when she lies down to sleep, a spirit will not return to her body again. You have 48 hours to hug her. Else, after 48 hours, if you don't hug her, you will sleep and your spirit will not return to your body again. See my brother. So, how was the experience? I don't even want to talk about it. You see, next time when you see people in an exalted position, don't envy them because you don't know what they went through before they got there. You should have told me. Huh? You should have told me it's all about rituals. I wouldn't have involved myself in the first place. You should have told me. How do you expect me to tell you about the secret that is meant for the initiated only? Now tell me. 
Will you tell your wife about this experience? See what I mean? So don't blame me. Blame yourself for wanting to be like us without knowing what we went through to be what we are today. Meanwhile, now you go and perform your first assignment. Alright? So that you can be initiated into the Oku fraternity officially. Mind you, it's either you do it or you die. How do I come out of this? If I don't do it, I will die. My mother will still die because she cannot survive a day after my death. That means two of us will die. You see, you see, what do I do? You see, you see, what do I do? So you are still alive. For over one week, I didn't hear from you. You just forget me. Hey! What is the meaning of this? You won't understand, Mama. Let's go inside and talk. Understand what? Say it that never be. Now I'm trying to explain. Don't hug me, please. Uh -uh. Emma, what are you doing? It's complicated, <laughs> Mama. Just stay. Stay there first. Don't hug me. Let's go inside and talk. Chineke, me. Osi, what is wrong with you? Eh? Hey, not without hugging me. I can't enter in. Osi, come and hug me. Mama, no, 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 no. I don't want me. Don't hold me. Sir, I'm your mother. Whatever it is, don't hide it from me. Please. I can't tell you. I can't even tell you. I can't get myself to tell you. I know you wouldn't want to lose your son. God forbid. Wait, please. If telling me will make me lose you, please, leave it to yourself. I was in Ambiko. I will not force you. I was in Ambiko. I want you to live for me. You know? My boss is going on. It's okay. Hey, Baba. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. I knew it. I knew that something was not right somewhere. For my son not have called me over for over one week. You haven't come to visit your mother. I knew something was wrong. But it is okay, my son. What's you going to do? I serve a true and living God. That God that has blessed you this far will deliver you from whatever problem it is. Uh. You don't know. Stop crying. No, 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 no,
single parent, all the shots you took for me from my kinsmen. So this is how I'm paying you back. Hi, Mama, Mama, please forgive your only son, forgive me. The quest to make more money, to compete with Eribe, brought all these things to your son. You know I love you, Mama, I love you so much. Ordinarily, I wouldn't do anything to harm you. Never. I will always protect you from death. But in this case, Mama, there is nothing I can do. Because if you don't die, I will die. And that's an experience I know you wouldn't want to have. Good morning. Jude, what is it? Hi, Auntie. Today has a problem. What problem? What is it? I got a call from the village. They said August line has been switched off. They have been trying his line. Okay. So, so what is it? Talk to me now. What is the problem? Auntie. Ojugo, her friend, said they were supposed to go for morning prayers. She went to her house, tried to wake her up, but she, could, she couldn't. She now alerted people. They took Mama to the hospital and the doctor confirmed her dead. What are you saying? The Mama is what? Dead. Hey. This... This is not a good news at all. What? How am I supposed to tell my husband? What am I going to tell him? And to find the one and, and, and tell him because... Hi. Go to the village right now. Mama. Baby, please, just calm down, okay? Please. Take heart, Osi. It is the son that buries the mother, and not the other way around. You made her proud by becoming the first 
rich man in this community. Though she suffered a lot to raise you, but you also did a lot to make her happy. Please, do not cry like someone who has no hope. You tried a lot. You really tried for her. You tried so much for her. Um, <clears throat> Ozzy, wipe your tears. What you did is what a son should do for his mother. Death is a debt. Everyone must pay. What we required of you is to give her a befitting burial so that her soul will rest in peace. I will not be burying her now. As you can see, I'm still, I'm still in pain. I don't think I'll be burying her in the next three months. It's okay. Take your time. Whenever you are ready for the burial, we'll be here to give you all the support that you will need. All we are saying is take hands. Wipe your tears. Yes. Hmm? Today is an induction of one of us who has just completed his orientation rituals and done his first assignment is first sacrifice. Having completed the orientation ritual and your first assignment, I hereby welcome you into this great Aku fraternity. You shall remain a slave to Aku Nerere and money shall remain a slave to you. Inside the bowl in your hand is the blood of every member of this fraternity. Both few that are present here and those that are not here. You shall drink of that bowl. Then, and only then, your soul shall be knitted together with the souls of your brethren. Go ahead and drink. You are now a bona fide member of this great Oku fraternity. You are welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the League of Extraordinary Brotherhood. I was surprised to see you there. I was surprised to see you too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't have a mother anymore. I took my mother. My sweet mother. I heard about the news of her death. But the moment I saw you now, Congrats. Oh. 
Are you congratulating me for killing my mother? The same way I was congratulated and praised for killing my father. Huh? <sighs> Maybe you led me into this thing, honestly. Because I wanted so much money, so much wealth, so I could measure up with you. Let me clean my mouth before I say this one. <clears throat> Just like you led me to, to. And I'll do my revenge with you. How? You see, your pride. Your ego, me me me, you know. I ask me, na mo do boka ni iri ba go go abro na na ata, ako na ata. You you made a man fall down. So because of that, I chose to make it to zonyo kuna beni demo. And this is where we are now. You look at me, a protective man on the camp, and you decided to, to floor me. I must make you. Nothing! Look at me. You see? You see? You see? You see? You see? You see? You You see? You see? You see? You see? You see? You You Brother, your food is getting cold. Olisha, don't eat anything. Brother, what is it that you were told in the meeting that is making you angry up to this morning? Is it not that Osi? Is it not that vagabond? Olowu Osi Onyego? Insulting me and condemning every idea that I brought up in the meetings. Telling me that I cannot, I don't have money. Mwa, progressive man. Mwa, riba agu agu. But I eat this that one. His pride is rotating everybody in this village. Brother, please, let's go and eat. I swear to God, I must make money in this world. Even if it takes me the last drop of my blood to make money, to prove to see that he is not the only one that can make money. Olish, I'll make money. I swear to God. Olish, I'm going to make the money. Oh, Jesus. I will so intimidate Osi. I will so humble Osi. That is my maybe that is money will be die a natural death. Oh yeah, I won't pay. Then I will make him to understand now. Everybody go go bro because the data cannot. Tag or wet tag. No, he will humble like a street baba. Off money, everybody go go. When I go and go go. Hey, ma, Osi. I brought an idea. You can't believe that also you fraud me. My father, um, he not told me that eh, after the whole thing, will you not come and use, it's not your, uh, uh, will I use my own to pay? That I'll come and beg him, cap in hand, to pay. You know, you know what I'm going to do? Very soon I will release my album. I will release my album, I'll draw a pocket and media and I'll go. Then I'll prove to Osi that now his own money can go to trade that money or the money he made in on it. My own go to get me in a fly, fly, private, private jet. Makachuku. Brother, you are not in competition with anybody. No, I am. Oh, mm hmm. All you chim kachuku, I am. Who knows? Osi no go to a big competition. No, no, no. Osi no. By the time he knows, we are in a fly private jet from show to show. Oga no makam. Brother, brother. And then Osi cannot flow me. Hmm. Can you do it? Okay, now what? Anya, no, 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 mama, no go go go. Okay, me. Where does one go? Release you. Man, bros, if you must know, eh, you see, in this business, you start very well. You be a party agent for the boss. You have to organize shows, rallies. Not just that. Dream voters, boys and girls. Even women. Anyhow, all these years. But the good news is, just one appointment from a sitting boss, it delivers all your labor for the years. Oh boy. I did tell you. Oh boy. Oh boy, I know if you wait. 
anyhow, anyhow to make money now, and I did my blood. My blood, they hold double, double. So anyhow, where the money go take, enter, make it just enter. Me, I don't ready. See, hey, bro, this is one way you talk anyhow, anyhow. If you ask me, eh, I go say make you take a easy for this your money making quest. Take easy, because, because, except say you won't join the eat today and die tomorrow gang. And bros, I no send you. Ah, see, boy, if you get the contact of their gang leader, pass a mover. Make I make the I had to I double H as a day here. See, make I make the money today, chop today, chop well at today. Oh, die. See, make I tell you, all die and I die. Whether I chop die today, not the same thing. Whether I, I no come chop, come die, and I come worse pass. So make I cook chop. Die. It's me, I don't get the contact to What do you come the here since now? You go ask my Oga. Oga get. If Oga get, you can connect me now. Um, let me advise you as a younger brother you are. I can see that you are zealous, focused, intelligent, and you have the way power. But all you need is a little direction to the right path. That's it. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. But you have this problem, and that is you are too forward to make money. And if not guided, you end up a victim. You see, let me tell you, good money needs time to come. And you need patience to allow it to come naturally. You see, all this fast way or big way of making money, people who are in need are not really happy. Are not really enjoying it. They will prefer the other life if given another opportunity to uh, 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 to choose. Honorable, you see, the issue here is that uh, I need to make this money to prove a point. So I need to make the money anyhow. Who doesn't need to make money to prove a point? Who? Uncle, you don't understand. Honorable, you don't understand. Honestly, you won't understand. What don't I understand? And I'm telling you that you don't understand that the devil, Satan, is more willing to give you money and yeah. than you are willing to receive from him. Eh? You see, but when you have received this money, will you be fulfilled? Are you fulfilled? Those who receive it, are they fulfilled? And that is the most important thing in life. Eh? That is the most important thing in life. Honorable, all you have to do is just give me the devil's address. Huh? Honestly, forget about what becomes of me. Don't bother. All, all I need to make this money to prove a point. Makachuku, even if it's, the money is coming from the devil or it's coming from God, all I know, the money is what matters to me. Let me just make it. If I get it today, have a second dozen. Biko, Uncle, please, I'm begging you. Please, please help me. Is it here? Make money without caring about how the money comes. I had to make money anyhow just to impress you. Look, I don't know. That's not it. It will really be a good one for my career. I could. I got it. Now, all fruits are not the same. You know, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> I got you. Because now, <laughs> it's working. I have your food. 
Not just for 100 percent attention. What goes around? Definitely. Tons around. I can't forgive myself. I can't forgive myself for killing my own mother, my own hands. Crying like a baby. Why should you be crying like a baby? In a Baba Kumas. Don't have you suddenly forgotten your name? Onyego. Osi. Onyego. In a Bezapa, the Neumo. After you make the money, I go. Come on. Come on, man. Go on, man. Enjoy your own. You told about well, rich money. Rich money, Allah. I'm more why you couldn't go. Huh? I've not even seen any money. So you have just been inducted into the Brotherhood. Sure. Son. Very soon money you know, in different currencies. I for Bonda Sayaza. Now money go the rush. Now money go the rush and you go to do it. In an hour. You go the wrong. Because I have one hour, I'll go for what time's sake. Give a lot of fun, I'll go see. I'll keep cool order. Cool order to Diego. No, back. I'm going to fire a bar call. That's not going to happen. Money you never work for. Money you don't know how it came about. It could name Maracos, you were jet. We'll be doing what? Rushing you. You know, Megan, in our work. All you have to do is say, I go. You better go. And guess what? At the time you begin to imagine, we're gonna down go there. I'm a Enjoy your life, bro. Enjoy your life. Bro. Enjoy your life. I bought what time is that? I bought what you have with me, sir. Because nobody wants to know how the money came. Yes, I won't get my own. Name my own. Will I get? Will I get? Will I get? Yeah, hello. Yes, this is Osi Diana just speaking. Of course. Um, no, I I did not apply for any contract with the government. No. Yes, yes, I I know Okuna huh? huh? Really? Oh, okay, no, no problem. No, but I, I'm I'm coming right away. I said I'm coming immediately. Yeah? Mm. <laughs> so what is this good news that is oh, so long to be said? Believe me, I cannot wait to break the news. I can't wait. Hell. <laughs> mm? Are you ready for it? Listen. You're listening. Mm -hmm. Nedra, ready for this news. <laughs> you are not ready for this. If you are ready for this news, I don't know. Maybe I'm ready to tell are you me. sure? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no. let me tell you. You know that, my friend, the one that stays in Benin, I always tell you about him. Yes. Ah, good guy. Wonderful guy. Believe me, he just helped me secure a contract with the state government. Oh, my God. This contract requires that I build six bridges across some rivers that are connected to some state roads. Yes. Mm. My love, this contract is worth over one billion US dollars. What? Yes, I am not joking. Believe me, I, if I, I'm trying so hard to contain myself. I'm not joking. I'm just coming from the, the government house where I went to sign the papers. 
you know the good thing? The mobilization fee has already been paid into my account. I am not joking, my love. I told you that this thing is going As I speak to you, my love, things have changed. You have nothing to worry about. You are the good man. God, thank you, Father Lord. Is this how wonderful you are? Yes, sir. God, oh, yes, sir. Thank you. Look, money is now calling me. Believe me, money is pursuing me. Money is rushing me. More balance is there. I don't know where they. I love you. I love you. I love you too. You see, when I was chasing this thing, people thought I was stupid. Now, to to do this thing with this, that is a banger red man. We put on a knee to this. No, let's go. Stay alive to enjoy this new level of world. Two enemies seated as best of friends drinking. <laughs> All because of the oath. All because of blood. <laughs> I was never your enemy. No. I, I was just on my own name, the name make I say. No. Uh, on my own scale. You were seeing me as an enemy. I was never uh, I was never your enemy. see, your pride and your arrogance was too much. So, <clears throat> I needed to cut your wings. <laughs> you really cut my wings, believe me. Because after seeing what you were doing with money, it's in ben -ben. Believe me, I realized that I did not have what do we go there? see. the most important part of it is that we are here together drinking from the same bottle. Mm. And where was that? Eddie Bagua. Eddie Bagua. Aha. Where do I get the contract? Someone has already presented a proposal to your state government okay. on your behalf. <clears throat> a member of Oko Confraternity. Mm -hmm. Yes. He was asked to step down because of you, since you are new. By the Brotherhood. So it's actually um, a contract that has been in the pipeline. She said to you, feeling so, like a daddy, like just like that. Everything. But wait, so government policy can be altered just like that. Let's see. Yeah. Oko controls this country. Right from the presidency down to the Senate to the states, to the local governments, and all other parasitals in this country. Everyone bow talk. Failure to bow talk, and in any way in your life, they tell you want to rear your head as a political gigantic in this country. 
My brother is with us, because there's no way you can make it. You must be loyal to him. Ah, thank God. Finally, I've got a company for him. I have seen the light. So, so this is what it means to be a politician. Yeah? So this is what they do. What's your ego? I'm going to give you the, con uh, the contacts of the contractor that actually presented the proposal. Oh, Nyaja. Yeah, he's a white man. He has no choice but to work with you. Mm, of course. If not, we'll lose all the whole contract. So he must dance to your tune. And it's all as a result of the sacrifice that you made. Makana, when you were telling me, if you're not put here, so it's in the you were telling me, if you're not put here. So, I suppose you had the men who were going to, you know, I need it now. Makana, it's about to go up. I'm going to go to Makana, I'm going to go to Makana. I'm going to go to Makana. Hi, Jude Mokan. If you need to change your, eh? Now you have me. If you need to get access, you can get access. Jude, I'll be sending you to China. Yes, I want you to go there and buy goods for our company. Okay. Okay. Yes. The the reason you'll be the one to go there is because I trust you. Yes, I know you've learned this business very well. In my agency, my business. I know that. I know that you will go to China and you will do very well. And I trust you. I'm a believer there. Hey, an ally of mine. If you see any other product, goods you believe will sell down here that people are not used to, you can also import them. Okay. Yes, I trust you. So you'll be the one to go there. This time around, don't worry about space. I just bought three extra warehouses. Very big, huh? Very, very big. So, if you get to China, anything you see there, you believe will sell down here. A bought it. Hmm? Okay. Bring them down here, and where buy got over here. Okay. Um, in fact, I'll just go straight to the point. From now on, I want you to be the one managing this business. Yes, just take over. I trust you. As you can see, the things have changed. Huh? You can't even access. I am now a politician, full-time politician, handling contracts uh, for the government, both at the state and federal level. What? Time now, I did a to to go one one naira a year ago. I buy a government van. Thank God. Yes, you have nothing to worry about. You will be the one handling this business right now. Okay. Okay. Hope you can handle it. Very well, sir. Good. For a start, Jude. You will be going to China with a hundred thousand dollars. Yes. So you go to China with Zubafia. Hmm? Is you get out here to see Ego Tipia? Call me. Hey. Thank you very much, sir. Eh? Thank you for believing in me. I will not disappoint you. I will not. I will not let you down. It's a promise, sir. Uh, yes, I also want you to know this. Things have changed. Hmm? Rosen why not to talk about one night in mafia? I buy your politics. I buy your family. Thank God. Thank God. Okay, sir. Let me show you what we have here. Okay. We are what we have. Hmm. Anyone you choose, um, I will place the order, and it will arrive uh, at our kiosk. In the next 30 days. 30 days? Uh, <laughs> I'm a poor man. You know, anybody who makes the kind of money I've made, you will buy Mercedes Benz now. We was here. You got this week. It's our Mercedes. G-Wagon? Yes, let me see. Yes, this one I'm seeing here. G-Wagon. I want two. Two? Two, yes. Brand new. Wow. Hmm? Okay. Hmm? The two is about. Uh, 
<laughs> I didn't even know it's that cheap. <laughs> Alright, that will not be a problem now. Like I said, I want to. Huh? You will tell me how to send the money to you. So I want to have the card here in the next 30 days, as you said. Okay, okay. I will send you my candidate. Good, send it immediately. And I will forward uh, 100 million uh, to your account so you can start. Once the cars arrive, I'll give you the balance of 20 million. No problem, no problem, no problem. Let me know. Hey. Honey, let's fix a date and bury Mama. I don't want to bury her now. What do you mean you don't want to bury her now? You mean you don't want to bury your late mom? It's my decision. I said I won't bury her. Okay, Lube. Not yet. See, <clears throat> before my mother will be buried, Certain things have to be done. You understand? You know, for my food, that things have changed. Uh, certain things have to be done. First of all, that my house in the village uh, it no longer depicts my, my status, my current status. So I need to build a bigger house. You understand? That's one. Then two, uh, things have to be done now. Huh? I need more contracts. I need more jobs. I need more connections. Huh? Can't nod off for my before I bury my mother. Didn't you hear what happened when uh, Eribe opened this house? Huh? At his housewarming. We found the there. Big time politicians. Those are the kind of people I want to attend my mother's burial. Governors, senators, you know, politicians, high class people. So I, I need to put things in place. Don't, don't bother yourself. <laughs> and you think you can achieve all these things you just mentioned now in two years? Well, if it takes two years to achieve all of them, it just means that. Uh, that's what the Almighty God wants, and you know I'm, I'm, I worship God so much. I believe in His directions. It also means that uh, my mother's body will stay in the mortuary for two years. My mother, Abrobel and mother, she deserves a befitting burial. And people won't forget about what people will say. What are they saying? Oh, my mother, my mother, she put them shut up. Whatever they say doesn't even have meaning. What I do is what matters. What I say. I couldn't sleep last night. 
I, I couldn't sleep. Hi. Can you just calm down? What happened? My, my, my mother, the spirit of my late mother, she was everywhere. The whole house, every unnatural from bedroom, sitting room. She was everywhere. I couldn't sleep. Hi. Don't have mercy. Why are you laughing now? Anyway, you cannot be laughing now. I'm, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. I'm not at my battle. The whole of last night, I couldn't sleep. I was restless. I was going to go calling you. You, you, you. you didn't pick up. I had to leave my hour oh, from my house this morning. I've not had my bath. See? Stop laughing now. Ah. Rosie, <coughs> what were you expecting from her? Look, if it's your cup, you were expecting her to be happy wherever she is after you killed her? <sighs> eh, Mbo? I, I didn't know this thing is like this now. I've never done it before. Eh? But something has to be done. Do you know, last I was so restless, my wife almost caught me. Eh? I didn't even know what to tell her. Something has to be done now. So, what do you want to do? I, I want to see Yoko. There must be a way out. I think if you see your middleman. Bumbo. Tell him Pompo that you want to have a meeting with her, um, Oku. Huh? And he will tell you what to do. Fine. I'm off to Benin right away. Uh, I, are you leaving for Abu Jasun? Let's see. I am here. Anytime you go and come, if you don't find me seated here drinking as usual, I'll be in my room. Please stay. Well. You are the only person I know in this thing. I'm off to Benin. If one can say the real money. I said they have a two, but I don't say they can say why. My mother's ghost appeared to me last night. That's why I'm here. And so? What do you mean, Anso? I said ghost. My mother I killed her. That ghost was all over my house last night. I, I couldn't sleep. I had to run out of my house. That's why I'm here. Ah, ghost that we see every time. I mean, the ghosts of our victims, they normally appear before us. There's no big deal about that. Excuse me? Yes. I mean, with the manner with which we kill these people, we should expect them to hunt us. But the good news is that they don't kill you. Huh? Yes, they don't harm. They will always kill you. What are you saying? Look, anytime she comes again, they'll just confront her. She will leave you alone. I should confront the ghost. What are you saying? Ghosts are capable of killing someone. Look, if they kill, by now none of us will be alive. I mean, we killed a lot of people while making money. And if what you are saying is true, by now we will all be dead. Did you have a point? Of course I have a point. Look, as soon as she discovers that you are not scared of her again, she will leave you alone. But in the meantime, go and prepare for her burial, a befitting burial. Go and build a cathedral in her name, motherless home, just in her name to appease her ghost, and she will leave you alone. I, I, I wanted you to take me to Oko. Because of this thing. Yeah. My friend, go and enjoy yourself. Nothing will happen. Enjoy yourself, my friend. Trust me. What is the problem? Boss. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I was moving. After, after a while, the car just stopped. So I came down to check what the problem is. I don't even know where to start from. Don't worry, I'll fix it for you. Ah.
Hey! Give me one echo. Come on, don't hurt me, please. Please don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I, I can explain. It wasn't my fault. Please, something I, I, I can explain, Mama. Don't hurt me. Oh, sister Demma. Why are you deceiving the people? You want to give me a befitting burial after killing me? I promise you, I will disgrace you on that day. I will rise from my casket and tell the whole world that you were the one that killed me. Oh, Stademma, you killed me. You killed me. Do not understand, please. Please, don't, don't do it. You hey, Mama, please. Die. This guy really spent money on this barrier. Yes, I know. But then... Uh, but to what? Hmm. Uh, anyway, uh, let's leave that matter for another day. Let's leave it for another day. Uh, it's okay. Who oh, see spends money? Ego, re-cash. He's a go-getter. He said it, that he's going for the government's money and he made it. He got it. Ah, you see, he got contract money like every day. That reminds me. Now I understand how he made it in the first place. The two names you mentioned. Anyway, on the day of judgment, let the judge judge us. Yes. Hey, 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 don't even go there. That place we are going to come back from there. There's no judgment anywhere. Look, these two guys, everywhere and see they make clean money. Clean money. At least I was privy on the wealth. Uh, I saw it with my eyes. He won contract from government post. Yes, he made about uh, uh, one billion dollars. Yes, one billion dollars. At least that one is enough to make him a billionaire. You know these assumptions you are carrying around. I am not doubting that they made their money from government contract. What is your argument? State it! How were they able to secure those contracts from government? How? What was that supposed to mean? Okay. I want you to understand something. In this country of ours, these young men you see parading themselves with big cars. They are members of one deadly fraternity. And if you are not part of it, you cannot secure any contract, either from the state or from the national. Jealousy. Jealousy is the root of all evil. Ah, but why? Why are people like this? Someone is wealthy and you are looking for a trace mm -hmm, mm -hmm, to know how he got the money. Why? Why are people like this? You must find a way to run people's wealth down. But not everywhere. Even though you see you are doing a bad man, this is this drink. You are enjoying the drink. Time. Shatter. Time will not tell anything. The only time that is talking now is ego and you don't have time, yours is broken. You are being naive. When are we going to our daddy's new house? Saturday. This Saturday. I don't like this house again. So because I took you to the new house, now you don't like this house again, hmm? Aloy! Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Aloy! Yes, ma'am. Hey! Come in. Hey. Yes, ma'am. Good morning. Please morning, 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 sir. For me, okay? Morning. Juju. Hey, hey. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, Juju. 
He's not going to school. No, we are going to the village, but we're back today, okay? Yeah, let's go. Maji! <laughs> Our daughter, we, the Alotaradi of this village, invited you here for questioning. As the woman, woman leader, our member here, Ojugu, who happens to be a good friend of your late mother-in-law, brought a report to us concerning your mother-in-law. And we say we are going to see to that. That is why we invited you here. And since it has to do with your mother-in-law, we have to bring the meeting here. So. Ojugu, Ngwa, tell us what you told us before in the presence of the daughter-in-law. Ube? Oh, woman leader. Mm -hmm. yeah. <sighs> Since after the death of my friend Mamusi, yeah. You see, this thing is difficult too. It's difficult, but I don't really know what to do. She keeps appearing in my dream. Eh? Telling me that... Uh, yo! Mm. Telling me that uh, her son... Her son, Osi, used that for... Hey, well, for money rituals. What nonsense! What is she talking about? Our daughter, please calm down. Let her finish. We'll give you room to talk. Please. What do you mean by calm down? What is she saying? Calm down. We'll give you room to talk. Ojigo, please continue. Uh, she said I should tell everybody in the village. But I kept ignoring it. It's a dream. But, you know, this last one became something else. So I said, let me report to Alutaradi. Because I know we all here would belong to the Alutaradi. This time around. Oh, woman leader. This time around, I saw her with chains. She's crying bitterly. Saying that all she did for her son, her son paid her back with evil. <laughs> Uma leader, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. I have to say this because, mm -hmm. see, my daughter, it is not that I'm, I'm confirming it, oh. it is a dream. You know, I wouldn't have said anything, but she said if I keep mute and I don't talk, her blood is on my hands. Oh, there is nothing I will not see in this life. Eh? Is this how people are? Our daughter, you have heard her. What do you have to say? Oh? If my husband knew that this is the reason why you people summoned me for this meeting, I, I swear to God, eh? Hey, this thing would tear this village into two. If he knew this is the reason why you people called me, <laughs> just calm down hmm. and answer the question. Go straight to the question. Hmm. My husband was very rich years before his mother died. And every one of you here knows it. His new money is from the contract he won in the government. And he made so much money, billions of naira. And I knew when he won that contract. In fact, the white men that are executing that contract he used to come to my house all the time. The last project that the governor commissioned, they took a picture with my husband, and that picture is in my house. So I don't know what Ojugu here is talking about. Woman leader, mm -hmm. I swear, hey. I am not cooking up this story. Mm -hmm. I swear, she keeps appearing to me in my dreams. I swear with my life, 
and that of Osi's son. If my husband ever had anything to do with that, if he has a hand or even imagined it, if there is anything suspicious about him, let me and my son not see the light of the day. No, 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 no. There's no gotten to that now. No, our daughter. Sit down, sit down. There's no gotten to that. Nola and Nene. Omalecha, sit down. Thank God there's only three of us that are here. Dreams can mislead people. Please, I want this issue to end here. Eba, please. We have heard your own side of the story. Please, my daughter. Don't let your husband hear this. We could come on ya. Sam Sam. Hey. Please. Let me make it clear. There is nothing like a secret room in my home. In fact, I have access to everything that is going on in my matrimonial home. My husband doesn't give me money uh, on cash. He gives me money through bank transfer. So I don't know what Ojugu here is talking about. Please, Ojugu, I beg you in the name of God. Next time when you are dreaming, please don't see my husband. Please, don't see him. Please. It's okay. It's okay, our daughter. Eh? Our manager, it's okay. With their life before Antaradi. <laughs> Wonder they say shall never end. I was trying to tell you something, but you call me naive. Thank God that Ojugo was bold enough to say this out. If not, we all would have been living in deception, living in the dark. But, but uh, I'm aware of the contract. The contract money I'm aware. The money serves me right. You, you say, I was trying to explain something to you the other day, but you were too fast to call me naive. These boys are everywhere. Money bag. Money bags. Money lots. Look, Okui, okay. let me tell you something. Before you win any mega contract in this country, you must belong to that fraternity. And before you belong to that fraternity, Opie, you must have killed your father or mother or even your siblings. Tell me something. Uh, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Listen, we all know when Eribe was a political apprentice to one honorable. Yes, boy boy. <laughs> boy boy. Immediately after the death of his father, he won two mega contracts from the government. After execution of the contract, 
money here and there. He started buying properties, building houses here and there. But let me ask you, why did he have to wait till after the death of his father? Why did he not win those contracts before the death of his father? Why did he not build those, build those, those mansions with those cars before the death of his father? Why? We must expose this man in this village. I, Okui, will personally pioneer this curse. No to evil. No to evil men. This is their end. Now you are talking. What am I living for? What am I living for? My entire family is gone. My mom is dead. My wife is dead. My only child is also dead. My wife swore and they both killed her. Now everybody knows that thing that was done in secret. What am I living for? Tell me, what am I living for? Isn't it better? I, I just take my life. Isn't it better? You don't have to cry like a child. Listen. It is only a fool that says, give me, give me money anyhow. However it comes without caring about the consequences of how the money comes. It takes you a fool like that. Even the death of the wealth itself, nothing, no peace, no joy, no life. See, let's just say this is what we put upon ourselves. Let's be it. Let's be it because Nandi Botolo in the West, no one yet patalon quarro de sing well and again. Well, I be a no. So the lizard has come to feast because of the firewood that we brought from the forest. No, come back, I'm again. Right here, let's just bear the consequences. What will you back? I can't bear it. I cannot bear nothing. I can't bear it. It's nothing to live for. It's better I just kill myself. It's better I die. Kill yourself. What happens to the money you've made? The wealth that you accumulated? You killed your wife, you killed your mother, you killed your son because of the same way. Odeki Arafuria. Who are you going to leave the wife for? Odeki Arafuria. Listen, let me just say this. Listen. Let me ask you a question. If eventually you killed yourself, you won't know where you are saying you will go away. When you get to heaven or hell every night and you meet God on the way, what will you tell Baba God? That made you to kill your wife, your mother, and your son. Yeah, call again. Death is not the answer. Buckle up. Let us face it. Give me a book. I can't remember the way of here. Talk up and be a man. The way go. go. So, this to what your brother is doing. Eh? You see, I'm as confused as anything. Eh? He has been doing good business before uh, this uh, government contract showed up. And, and what? And what? Listen, both of them, both Eribe and Osi, 
I am going to see Gohanali wage war against them. Mark my word. Mark my word. Mark my word. Brave youth of Amakoya, yeah. I sense for you. I want you to go to every houses in this community. Bring out all the able-bodied youth. Tell them to meet me here, this very spot. Together, we are going to say no to evil money. Yeah. We are going to say together no to evil men. We are with you. We are not rich like others. It's because we don't we shun we shun evil. Because we shun evil. Not that we don't know how to do yahoo yahoo. Not that we don't know how to do the evil deeds to make quick money. But we say no to evil do to evil deeds. We decide to work with our hands to, and be a man. Today, we're going to use two great men in this community as scapegoats, Eribe and Osi. We will march down to their houses and burn it down. We we'll use them as an example to those that are thinking to follow their footsteps. Now go. We no go grow. We no go green. We no go grow. We no go green. Yeah, brother, you say you're who? Okay. What? I've heard, I've heard. I've heard. And his own too. My brother, it, it is um, it is crazy because I wonder why a man, you know, it takes a man so much, so much to please the world, and yet it takes so little to pull a man down. I believe it's, it's the second one that we come to. It. No, no, thank you, thank you for coming. Thanks. They were to lose like an analogy. This is what we put upon ourselves, and we must bear the consequences. I expect. <laughs> Everything gotten from the devil goes back to the devil, isn't it? The houses are gone. The shops are gone. The warehouses are gone as well. Careful for one of them, but all the other houses are up there. And the Akunoba that comes with it, the good. Where are you going to? See, see, I got a call from my mother and she said that spending under night in this house is at my own risk. See, I don't know what Oku and those village boys are planning. Me, I'm out of here. Tell you what? Wait now. Wait what? I will go with you. To where? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Shh, be fast, be fast.
Boom, let's go. Ask me, no, ask me, no. Do this thing fast now. <laughs> so well in business why were you asking for more why huh why why were you not content with where you were see you were doing well you had a good business business was booming you had a wonderful family a loving mother all that is gone now you see all because you wanted to be in someone else's position, you see? Or because you wanted to be a politician. To be someone else's shoes, you see? He lost everything. My mom is dead. My family is dead. Everyone has deserted me. Why? You see, why? Why? Hi. another chance, I beg you. Can I just start again? Please, I've learned my lesson, dear Lord. Let me just start again. Take me back to when I had my business and my family. I will never in my life again ask to be anyone else or to be in someone else's shoes. Can you just do this for me, Lord? Let me start afresh, please.
want you be a billionaire. What? Sis, you don't know this man? Do you remember Oso uh, Onyego? That one that put us uh, uh, dust that day. Okay, that one got. The useless man that refuses to say. Yes, money. you know he has been mad now. What? You know, this 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 particular person you are seeing here now is his brother, and two of them two of them are now mad. If you ask me, my sister, now who I go ask? I don't know. I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait.